Hi and welcome to our What Works custom nutrition software page. My name is Lucho Crisale and I am the CEO of Exercise and Nutrition Works. I developed the software after many, many years of struggling with over-the-counter programs that all they would do is just spit out a PDF that my clients would lose and crumble and never be able to use. And now with the technology that you have in our hands, in our pockets every day, wouldn't it be great to have a software you can access at the palm of your hand, whether it's your iPhone, your Android, your laptop, your desktop, your tablet, whatever. Well, that's exactly what the What Works custom nutrition software can do for you and your client. You can access it from anywhere in the world with an internet connection. Now, the reason we call it a custom nutrition software is because it's fully customizable. You can customize the look and feel of it. You can add your own logo. You can add your own color background. You can even change the URL if you like. And once you get inside the software, you can customize it by creating meal plans for paleo, vegan, uh, vegetarian, bodybuilding, figure competitors, basically pretty much anything you want. You can add custom exercises. You can also add custom foods. There's the cool feature that you can hide foods. For example, I'm not really a fan of fruit juice because even though it's natural, it's a bunch of sugar. I'd much rather my client eat an orange than have four oranges in a little glass, which is called orange juice. So what I do is I hide juice or fruit juice from all my clients uh, meal plans. So they can't even see that meal uh, selection. They can't select it. The cool thing is that if you work with figure competitors or bodybuilding competitors or anybody who's in a really strict meal plan, there are certain foods that you don't want to tempt them with. So you can actually hide specific foods from specific clients as well as any food from all clients. So you have complete control of it. And when it comes to control, well, you can have six meals, five meals, three meals. Well, instead of just telling you about it, let me show you. So I'm going to go ahead and log in real quick and go over the few tips of the software and so you can see how, how easy to, it is to use and how you can access it. So here's how easy it is to use our software. You're just going to log in and of course I'm going to use a dummy account here. And once you're logged in, let me close that password saver. All you do is say add a new client. When you create a username we usually recommend that you use somebody's email. So say somebody at me.com would be their username and then their password you can make that anything you want we'll just go ahead and make it the same as their username for now and this is somebody sample and we'll say create once you create your client you notice there's a number of tabs here so that first thing I'm going to show is how to create a client here you can reset their password you can also when they first log in they're going to have to create a password recovery question that they can set up and an answer and here's the important part you set up when they're able to start their meal plan or access to the meal plan you'll create and when their access ends so this way you can control how often or for how long they can use the program once you have that created just click update and then as easy as going to the what works and basic info page and you would enter somebody's information no pun intended. So here let's say that this person has a resting heart rate of 69, they weigh 218 pounds, present body fat is 21%, they are 5'9", and their birthday is the fourth day of December of 1982. And their desired weight is 190 pounds and 10% body fat. And then all you do is click on recalculate and the software will figure out their basal metabolic rate. It'll figure out all sorts of sedentary activities and so on and so forth. And it'll give you a quick gl a glimpse over here where you can see, hey, you know, is, is the person currently weighs 218 pounds, 172.22 is muscle, 45 is fat. If they want to get to 190, they're going to have to lose some muscle. So that's why this is in red right here. We never want our clients to lose muscle. So here we would make them maybe weigh 195 and by increasing his goal weight and then you see that the client would have to gain three pounds of muscle and drop 26 pounds of fat so that's how easy you create the client then you go to their exercise plan and you can add any type of exercise just by clicking on the pull down and there's literally hundreds of exercises in here that you can select from and instead of scrolling down you can just start typing let's say this person likes to play water polo so you just type in water and it'll start taking you to the activity until you can find water polo. And then you say tab, and then five hours a week, and you add exercise. The other cool thing is that it adds exercises based on calories per kilogram per hour, as opposed to a moderate, medium, or intense, or 
activity. So that is how cool and easy it is to assign exercises for somebody. You can just click on there and say that they do weightlifting, how many hours per week, and then just click add exercise and it's automatically added and it tells you what the weekly average is and the daily average and so on. And then the next thing we would do is go to their body fat percentage. And here you can select from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ways of selecting body fat or measuring body fat. And when you click on these, it shows you what are the numbers or where you should be pinching. These are millimeters of skin fold. And if you don't have calipers, you can use a measuring tape. And if you have a machine that just spits out the body fat, you can use that as well. And then the next thing we would do, of course, would be create their meal plan. And when you create their meal plan, you have the ability to select how many meals you want and in this case it defaults to five but if you wanted to add a six meal all you would do is say add meal number six and then you select the time because the placement of the meal depends on what time you select so this one is at 7 p.m. let's make this one 10 p.m. and hit create new meal and once the meal is created here at 10 p.m. at the bottom then we would add what we want so let's say we want one serving of the starch and we want four servings of meat that has one gram of fat per ounce add. So now that we have a six meal meal plan, all we do is we can click on edit all at once. And this allows you to go and increase the number of exchanges where you want to increase the carbs, decrease the carbs, increase the protein, decrease the protein. Let's say we want to give them six ounces, six ounces and then say update all exchanges and basically what we do and what we teach that is different than calories in calories out or a one-size-fits-all approach is that there's a specific amount of protein per kilogram of lean body mass that the client needs based on the duration frequency and intensity of exercise and their carbs depend on whether they're obese or not and how many grams they get and we have a sliding scale for that so where most programs come up with a caloric value and then they magically come up with a 40 30 30 or 60 20 20 what we do is backwards or actually they're doing it backwards we're doing it what we believe is the right way and that I and that is that we let the protein and the carbs dictate the calories as opposed to the other way around and that is to create an initial meal plan and then we meet with our clients on a regular basis and measure their lean body mass and then we see if they're gaining muscle losing muscle gaining fat losing fat and based on the results or lack of results we teach you how to adjust the meal plan so that it truly becomes a custom nutrition plan as opposed to a one-size-fits-all cookie cutter approach the cool thing is that if you are, you probably notice that some of the little um, logos that were flashing that you could you could replace this logo, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, were Max Muscle and GNC and some other stuff. So if you happen to be a Max Muscle store or any other supplement store, you can actually create in here, you go to Max Muscle Products. And then once you select Max Muscle Products, you're able to enter in all the products that you have for that brand if they are calorie providing supplements and you have the selection over here so if you wanted to use for example uh, max isolate then it would automatically when you say how many servings it would automatically update the right amount of carbs protein and fat and if instead of being a max muscle store you were to be an isogenics rep or any other MLM that has some nutritional products you can go ahead and have those loaded there as well and then you can select whatever isoline shake you like French vanilla or whatever it is and then when you do that of course it would also put in the right number for carbs protein and fat based on the servings so it's really customizable when it comes to that the other thing I wanted to show you is in order to change this logo here that is a small upgrade one-time fee and you would go here to your account and go to my profile and then all you do is click on edit and it shows you right here that you need to upload a JPEG, JPEG, GIF, or PNG image file that is 980 by 205 and all you would do is click on browse and then you would select whatever logo you like and then you just would say upload and magically you would have that logo right up there now the green may not look perfect with the red there so you can also click on custom on my profile and then you can say edit and you can edit the color so there's something called a color picker so you can go and click on that match that color perfectly click here and hit paste and enter and now your logo matches the background or the background matches the logo and if you don't like the red if it's too bright for you again you can click on edit and instead of red you can just type in black if you don't have that little color picker and it is black and whatever color you want to do as well 
and of course you can always edit and go to account my profile and say edit and say remove current logo and remove custom color and it'll go back to the default which is our logo so you could change your logo daily if you wanted to or as often as you like here is where you would click to customize exercises so here's the list of exercises that we have and nowadays you have people doing high intensity interval training you have people doing crossfit you have people doing orange theory you have people doing kettlebells all sorts of stuff so you can just scroll to the bottom and click over here and say add new exercise and you can add a custom exercise you can name it whatever you want you can put a description enter how many calories per hour uh, calories per kilogram per hour or how many calories per hour the, that exercise burns and then when you go back to your client and you click on exercise that exercise will appear right here under the custom exercises and that is how quickly and easily you can add an exercise you can also do the same with foods I mentioned this on the video but it's a lot more cool when you see it here you see that we still have things such as apple juice prune juice cranberry juice and fruit juice blends and here we have the word hide so I can click on the word hide and then a menu will pop up and it'll let me know hey do you want to hide it from all your clients or you would just want to hide it from selected so I could go and have Mary test and somebody sample and hide it from them so it would be hiding those meals or those food items from those people and then if I go to the end and then the rest of the clients will be able to see it and if we go to the end of the food list you can actually see what has been hidden before and you can just click change and then you click change it says okay do you want to unhide uh, from all or do you just from the one selected so that's pretty cool and if we go back to foods you can also add foods to different categories so here you can add a new food you can even add a new category so if you want to add a vegan category or a paleo category or a condiments category and if we control F for find and type in supplements you can not only enter foods but you can enter calorie yielding supplements so here's where you would enter your weight gainers your protein powders your meal replacement powders your bars uh, cookies chips whatever it is that has a high protein content or whatever type of supplement you want and when you go to the meal plan so let me click on home so if we go to the what works meal plan and I select here I can select a calorie yielding supplement and then that will allow me to select any supplements from this list that are calorie yielding supplements and based on what I have entered it'll have the right number of carbs protein of course you wouldn't give anybody four servings of protein powder you would just do one and that would automatically update the right numbers right here so that we get four carbs 25 protein 1.5 grams of fat so those are the calorie yielding supplements you can also go here and add what we call the non-caloric supplements that would be multivitamins that would be brain support like happy calm and focused or it'll be glutamine creatine core health pack which is uh, digestive enzymes uh, essential fatty acids essential fatty oils and once you have those in there you can actually assign them to your clients and tell them what time to take how much when and why and the cool thing is here let me go to a client that may already have supplements so here we go so George Jones has a number of supplements that he takes he takes them for breakfast for dinner for before workout after workout and so on so the software also tabulates how many bottles the clients going to need uh, per week and per month so the software pretty much sells your supplements for you it tells you exactly what do you need how much when and why so that's pretty cool. Now this is the CFNS view of the software. Let me log in as George Jones and you'll see how the client sees it. Okay, so here I'm going to log in as George Jones. So they can see the difference between the CFNS or the end user. So now when George Jones comes in, he sees all of his options here in a straight line. You remember that for the CFNS, we had many more choices. So here with the client, they see their account, so they can see their profile, they see their basic info page, which is where we are, they can see their measurements. If you take any, they can see their body fat. And the cool thing is with the body fat, the software draws a graph of their body fat percentage, their body weight, their fat mass, and their lean mass. And then you can also select two and say compare any two, so it tells you exactly how much fat they lost, how many pounds they gained, and so on and so forth. And when they go to their supplements, 
they don't see all the stuff on the bottom that we were seeing on the previous screen. This is what the client sees. They see exact, exactly what to take for breakfast, for dinner, for the workout, and so on. And it tells them how many bottles they'll need per month. And when they go to their meal plan, they see the meal plan itself. And the only changes they can make here is if they don't want to have brand cereal, they can select Cheerios. So it tells them two and a quarter cups of Cheerios will yield the 45 grams of carbs. So this is immediately uh, accessible to them and it's what we call responsive. So it doesn't matter what size screen you're on, it will automatically resize to fit that screen. So that they are on their iPhone, their iPad or whatever and they can still see everything and carry it with them in the palm of their hands. Now the cool thing is every time they log out they must click on log out and this is set up so that only one person can log in at a time so there's no sharing of meal plans and you are able to monetize your nutritional knowledge which by the way brings me to our monetize your nutritional knowledge event when you want to learn how to create custom nutrition plans that's what we specialize in and then when you join us in Las Vegas for our monetize your nutrition knowledge event at www.monetizeyournutritionalknowledge.com we will teach you how to monetize it how to make money how to run a profitable nutrition counseling system and business so enough about the software let me go back to the presentation and we look forward to seeing you as one of our what works custom nutrition software users and even more so we like to have you join us in las vegas and we typically do our mink events monetize your nutrition knowledge in june and december of each year cool now that you've seen it if you have any questions about our software give us a call toll free 866-719-6757 or shoot us an email at support at exercisingnutritionworks.com and risk below my video here just read the page and there's a ton of information there all the different options you can have and uh, now that you know how it works why would you use anything else for real come on it's called what works nutrition software for a reason this is what works and not all that mumble jumble garbage that people are telling you about one size fits all nutrition approach. So thank you again for coming to our page and if you have any questions we're here to help and support.